So starting the takeoff run from Boeing, the E8A Poseidon. Design the replacement for the Iraq, which did not fly earlier. I know it did. This is the replacement aircraft. All right. Really, again, 737. 737-900 wings have been extended, brake tips from the usual winglets, fuselage that for the 737-800. Internal weapons bay is located in the aft fuselage. The wings are fitted with hard points for carriage of air-to-surface missiles, further two external stores points under the forward fuselage. The weapons bay can carry up to five 658 kilo stores under wing and under fuselage points also available. Fitted. The large nose section houses the Raytheon Maritime Surveillance Radar, it's the ANAPY 10, and the L3 Westcam Digital Electro opt Optical and Infrared Sensor System. I'm sure, there's a mnemonic for all that lot. Other systems include the Northrop Grumman ESM Suite, Electronics Warfare Management System. Aircraft carry up to 126 solar boys, which are deployed by a three loadable 10 round launchers. Several operator stations, official fuel, stuff down the back, and they are part of April, a couple of years ago, that Boeing began testing of the Raytheon Advanced Airborne Sensor. This involved fitting the test bed aircraft with a 12.4 metre or 40 foot sensor housing underneath the forward fuselage. It's anticipated that by August, a couple of months away, this year the aerodynamic and structural testing will be complete of that configuration. July uh, in what, uh, 13, so three years ago, that the United States Navy declared that the B-8A was ready for introduction to service. The service has an order of 109 aircraft on order, and full production rate started a couple of years ago. Aircraft today, configured with two inert, glad to hear, AGM-84, they're the harpoon missiles under the wings. As I say, the P-8 has 400 wing pylons capable of carrying a variety of weapons in its multi-role maritime and anti-surface warfare missile uh, missions. Boeing is a significant export market for the P-8A Poseidon. The Indian Navy became the first overseas customer when they were eight of the further number of aircraft. Cruise speed around about 440 knots to achieve the maximum range. But if you're having a crack along you can have another 50 knots on that. That also cuts down your range. Time on station having been deployed in excess of around about 1200 miles is four hours. So 1200 miles away from where you start but four hours loitering you can get back. Announced yesterday at Farnborough, the United Kingdom has bought nine of these aircraft at a cost of something like three billion pounds, and that's all going to come in the next ten years or so. February the 21st, 2014, the Australian government also ordered eight besides Mind you, they were part of the development of Barker. They're not a total surprise there, I guess. Two operational bases are planned to the site are Jacks in Florida, Jacksonville in Florida, and Jacksonville in Florida. Jacks in Florida, 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 Jacks in
some of the other plans involved. Plans are underway for the new wing version of the Raytheon, the Mark 54 Torpedo, which would initially glide for much of the way to the intended target before entering the water to do its business. to air show radio, they will give the traffic and travel, follow the signs, follow the marshals, do a superb job, if you think you're smart and get a shortcut, you're going to end up down a cul-de-sac, take your time, on the way out, here comes Poseidon from Boeing, I mentioned earlier this is a centenary, that they will be celebrating on the 15th, and with Poseidon touching down, very shortly after he's cleared the runway, the flight control committee is sitting on the very side of the airfield. And the side comes down to the air zone. All ships are back to the tank and continue their operation, very successful operation. And now the air is part of the air zone. That concludes the flying display.